Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin, and today I will be doing a reading for the sign of Aries. So if you have Aries in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or anywhere within your chart, this reading could resonate with you. If you are dealing with an Aries, this reading could resonate with you. And if so, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way, you can be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator. Olo Dumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Eshu, Obatala, to the Egun Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florian Williams, Norman Williams, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for the sign of Aries. Okay, Aries. All right, so this reading is looking like um, you and another person want to be together or there's you or the other. Okay. Because I can't tell <laughs> who's going through what. And the thing is, is that both of you are coming out of relationships where you were betrayed. Okay. Somebody betrayed you, cheated on you. Somebody also cheated on them. All right. But, um, one of you is looking at the other as wish fulfillment. Okay. Um, but there's, there's some indecision. All right. So here, let's jump into the reading. The first card out, we have the three of swords in the reverse. We have the page of cups in the upright. We have the nine of cups in the upright. And we have the six of swords. Sorry, guys. In the upright. So what this is telling me is that um, you or your person uh, was un involved in a love triangle, okay? Um, and the thing is, your, your person could still be with someone and looking at you as wish fulfillment. But in order to be with you, they need to drop the baggage and move on. See all that baggage right there? With the six of swords. Drop the baggage and move on. The thing that they really want to do is just get away with you. They want to go somewhere with you. Like take a vacation, take a trip where it's just me and you and we're not thinking about anything else or we're not worried about anything. Um, but either way it goes, this person has to get out of this triangle mode, okay? Um, whether it's because their spouse is cheating and they're still with the spouse or they're with the spouse that they want to break up with to go towards you, all right? Second row, we have the seven of swords in the reverse, the ace of wands in the reverse, the queen of pentacles in the upright, okay? Oh, God, sorry for the glare, guys. There she goes. And the five of wands in the upright. All right, now, whoever you were with, um, or this could be a person, which wherever it goes, this person cheated on you with a lot, or your other person, <laughs> with a lot of people, okay? Um, all behind your back, uh, was very intentional. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a lot. Very, very sneaky with the seven of um, swords in the reverse, okay? And this could have been within a marriage because we have the queen of pentacles who is a wife, all right? So someone is um, married, but dealing with um, a lot of conflict and competition in their marriage. But this looks like it's, it's, it's over with this Ace of Wands in the reverse. OK, second, third row, third row, we have the Two of Pentacles in the upright, the King of Wands in the upright, the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse and the um, Seven of Cups in the reverse. Now, this King of Wands feels like he has to make a difficult decision. Um, it could be about who he, this masculine energy wants to be with. Um, and it could be a decision that involves money. Um, but with this um, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, and then the Seven of Cups in the reverse, tells me this King feels um confused Can, really confused about what to do yeah here let me look at my notes give me one second 
Right. Because what this king feels like, this king of wands feels like I've made poor decisions in the past with this knight of pentacles in the reverse. Either uh, poor decisions in the, the partners that they've, they've had or the person that they're with. Um, maybe they feel like I jumped into the relationship that I'm currently in too fast. And this is why I'm in the mess that I'm in. And now I'm feeling something for you. But um, I don't want to repeat the same mistake. OK, because what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm, yeah. What I'm seeing is, is that this relationship can work out as messy as it is, um, can work out if you two go really, really slow, really slow. Um, because it seems like you guys are like writing love letters and love notes, text, text messages, sending text messages back and forth. Um, two of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles says moving for you. Someone wants to move forward, but they want to go slow. They want to go really slow. And that's the way to go. There was another, right, the Page of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles is saying this, uh, this will work out if you guys go slow, slow and steady. So this relationship doesn't necessarily have to end or stop. People need to release baggage from um, past infidelities and betrayals, okay? Because the thing is, is that somebody truly desires you, okay? There's real desire um, real feelings of love. There's emotion there. You look like wish fulfillment to this person. The weird thing is the king um, of uh, wands and this queen of pentacles, both these two do not have they, their pair, okay? There's no king of pentacles here and there's there's no for the queen of uh, pentacles and there's no queen of wands for the king of wands. And that's because I feel like you two both could have been married. Very well could have been married to separate people, but haven't come into union where um, you feel like I could I could be with this person like this. This King of Wands may feel like maybe I, maybe I want to date. Maybe I want to date a little bit before I, I um, settle down. OK, and maybe you if you're in Queen of Pentacles energy, feel like, you know what? I was married and I want to be married again. Like I already know what I want. But these two aren't looking at each other, meaning they're not seeing eye to eye. But if you go slow, you could actually make this work. This could work um, with all the confusion. But people have to let go of these hurt feelings. You know, I feel like this masculine energy feels like, you know, maybe I got played and their ego is in effect and they want to like maybe they want to date around. But it, I'll tell you this. If that is the case for the masculine, it would be a, you're not going to find what you're looking for with the uh, seven of uh, cups in the reverse. Every person that you end up dating is is an illusion that um, is a bad choice. It'll be probably be just like the person you just left. So this, if masculine, um, you are looking at this queen of pentacles as wish fulfillment, you need to take it slow and, and be serious. I mean, I'm not saying be serious as in, yo, you're, I'm gonna marry you today. Um, be serious as in, I am serious about only dating you because that's what the Queen of Pentacles wants to hear. I think she's willing to go slow uh, or that feminine energy is willing to go slow as long as there is a real commitment there. So you can come out of this wand energy um, if you um, can let go of your baggage of being hurt, feeling like you were played. Yeah. And then it won't be such a, a difficult decision because this isn't in the reverse. If this was in the reverse, it would already tell me you've made the wrong decision, but you haven't decided yet. So make the right decision. OK. All right. So that is the reading that I have uh, for you, Aries and or cross watcher. Uh, if the read if the reading resonates, um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Um, and if you want to book a personal reading with me, email me at Prince of Peace Tarot at gmail.com. All right, guys.